Comedy Central. In the not too distant future, there's a son in the 80s. There was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at his Monic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Navy Rob, the kind of give you the service oh, again. Oh, okay. oh, 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 geez, hi. Boy, it's really a hairy day. I got a load of laundry, and I just got done giving the robots a bath, and I'm about to put them ah, down. No. Then I got to clean up the load pan bay. Uh, servo messed it up. No, no, it was both of us. We were having sword fights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bucket? Oh, stop it. You guys oh, just got to take it easy. Would you take it easy? You're just overtired. Not the right? Order your sign in 10 seconds. I don't want to hear another peep out of you two, all right? Commercial sign in five, four, three, two, one. Beep. All right, that's <laughs> it. That's <laughs> Good it. Good one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. Pop, 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 pop. The original catchphrase clearinghouse. Saturday at 9, only at Comedy Central. The Comster, the Central Meister, El Camadeo del Central. Cheddar makes it taste better, right, Billy? Hey, you missed the spot. Nothing tastes better than hot cheddar on vegetables, huh, Billy? More cheese fries. Huh, the taste of cheddar makes darn near anything better. Isn't that right, Bill? Mmm, it's great. Thought so. Cheddar makes it taste better. I'm Alan King, and this week I go inside the comedy mind of Norman Lear, which isn't as threatening as it sounds. Camera goes in here. Uh, up in no, 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 this is just conversation. Up in here, no, no, no. Join Alan King inside the comedy mind when Alan's guest will be Norman Lear, director, producer, and creator of All in the Family. And I'm not going to do any ball jokes, though. No. Why would you do ball jokes with me? <laughs> Alan King inside the comedy mind this Sunday night at 8 p.m., only here at Comedy Central. I know you are, but what am I? Ah, you're another one. I know you are, but what am I? You're dumb. Baby, listen, baby, you're, listen. You're, huh? You guys better stop it or I'm going to give you both a time out, okay? Uh, How's Joel, that make you feel? Joel, you, you said we could stay up for the movie. Yeah, that's what we're designed for. Yeah. Listen, okay, if you're really, really good, you can stay up for the movie, okay? Okay, we'll be really good. Yeah, we promise. Okay, now look nah. sharp. The mad scientists are calling, all right? Mm -hmm. Good, okay. Uh, now, do you have that, that prism lens effect, that fly eye thing we talked Talked about, uh, you know, like at the beginning, beginning of family affair, that that kind of thing. We'll do that here. All right. Well, Joel, we're just tidying up down here a bit. Uh, let's get right to the invention exchange this week. What do you say? Have at it. We watch the movie. We get to watch hey, the movie. Hey, come on, cut it out, you yeah, guys. Yeah. I want you to go turn out the lights, you spinach chins. I want to show them Gretchen the slinky. Okay. That's better. Well, I, some exciting things have been going on here in the satellite of love. I realized that if you gave the right chemical bath to a slinky and then exposed it to some ultraviolet light, some interesting things would happen. I want to show you Gretchen the slinky. Hey, Gretchen, wake up. Come on. Yeah, there you go. See? She's doing really good. Yeah, that's right. She likes to be around people. Come on. Hey, come on. You want something to eat here? I got some, I got some uh, carpet for you. You like carpet, don't you? You don't like, oh, come on, have some carpet. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, she loves carpet. You want some more? Come on, there's some more there. Finish it up. Okay. Now let's show them what slinkies do when they sleep, okay? I'm going to put you, show you how, they, how you sleep, okay? Just hang you up right this. 
See, they, they rock themselves like that, okay? All right, and do one last thing for him, Gretchen, okay? All right, I want you to do one last thing. I want you to do your impression of the 60s, okay? On the count of three, all right? One, two, three. Do your impression of the 60s. That's good, all right, cool. That is adorable. I wish I had one of those. Uh, must be kind of hard to take care of, I bet. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid once, I had this slinky. I put it on the escalator. Frank! <laughs> oh, here comes Dr. Forrester now with his invention. Well, Joel, this invention is based on the old slinky train toy I had as a kid. It allows me to be in two places at once, connected by the special bio tube. Well, it's, it's much too complicated. It would take a scientist to explain it, and I'm simply too mad. Well, what do you think, Joel? Hey, you guys are always stealing my ideas. We're monitoring your mind, Joel. Besides, in space, no one can hear you sue. <laughs> Tell him, Frank. That's right, we're evil. Evil! Those are just the most delightful little cute creatures. I want one like that. I want a little critter just like that. I'm gonna go to the Hasbro Humane Society. Frank! Huh? Your movie this week, Joel, is not a science fiction film, but it's perfect for our experiments. It's just bad. Tell him, Frank. That's right, it's a diabolical cinematic it's just bad. Yes, remember that bad thing we saw? This is even it's, worse than that. It's that's bad. Right. It's bad. But it's our kind of bad. It's, it's a, a good bad. It's bad. It's good for us. Yeah. Bad for you, Joel. Oh, Scientists are always trying to rip me off. Yeah, cheaters. Yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, this this is going to be hard to watch. Postage Stamp Theater presents. Hey, they shot this with a three millimeter camera. <laughs> I'd like to shoot them with a three millimeter howitzer. Bigger. It's got to be bigger. Is that what happens when a guy spits out of the side of his mouth? I think it's computer freaks and science sale all the works. <laughs> oh, great. I love orange soda. I liked it when they used to shoot movies in Orange Julius school. Well, they can't be that good. Look, they need training wheels. Hey, the scientists must be showing us ESPN. Maybe they'll show kickboxing from the Philippines. Tonight's episode, Bicycle Built for Death. Baby, can you drive my murder? These boots were made for arson. Two-wheeler, four-wheeler, dead wheeler. Easy rider, easy dead. Tonight, act one with very special guest, Ross Hagen. And J.C. Hoppentopper, Travel to the Wheeler. <laughs> Filmed in long torso vision. Whoa. Hey, Dean Tessier Judge. Hey, the whole Tessier clan got in on this. Nope. You know, now that side hacking's so big, it's really interesting to see its humble origin. on the award-winning stage play by Lillian Hellman. <laughs> Director of Blurriness, John Hall and Daryl Oates. <laughs> hey, check the map, will ya? Why me? Why me all the time? Hmm. Pat Somerset, Mom. That's what Noel Coward used to do. <laughs> and the Mike Curb Congregation. Hey. And the rest. Art Director Lee Puff. Assistant cameraman, Vince Dyslexic. Assistant script supervisor, Eddie Glaucoma. Music editor, uh, can't read it. Hey, let me up. 
Yeah. That's no way to kill hemorrhoids. <laughs> My dog used to do that on the driveway. He was in Porgy and Bats. No one's legs were ground off in the making of this film. I lost my contact. Help me. Help, I'm side hacking and I can't get up. I'm having foot pain. Well, we'll be right there, Mr. Stumpy. We've got John Hall again. That's how Ross Hagen got in the film. He slept with the producer. <laughs> hey, it's Hunter S. Thompson. I didn't know Side Hacken was so gonzo. Yeah. The winner's circle full of burning tires. Yeah, it used to be a Renaissance festival as far as the eye can see. Undercooked pork by Gus Trichinosis. Come on, let's go. Meanwhile, in another movie... Hey, they're film filming a Kotex at... I'm a... <laughs> I can't say Kotex, I'm a robot. <laughs> let's check in and see what the Gatsby's are doing. Last one to the montage is a rotten egg, huh? Let's walk ankle deep in filth. So... What's so bad about feeling good? Hey, woman. Haircut by Chad Everett. No. No. <laughs> you little tigress. <laughs> they look like they're filming a Star Trek episode. Help me, Kirk. Help me. I am Kirok. Oh, life is good, isn't it? Our love is hey. clean love. After we're married, I still want this. What, this tree? What do you mean? And I'll be in out here where no one can bug us. Just you and me. Oh, yeah. I love that idea, too. Yeah. Hey, uh. we think alike, don't we? We both share a brain. Uh-huh. Hey, come on. I'm gonna break your shin, you little tigress. <laughs> hey, Joe, where do you suppose these guys are working now that cigarette ads are illegal? I don't know. Maybe they're, uh... Working on PM Magazine. Oh. Remember when we were making a film called Side Hackers? Let's see. Uh, you forgot your socks? No, silly, my underwear. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, you blew your nose. <laughs> no, come on. Okay, what is it? Uh, David McCallum's yeah. coming over for dinner. Yep. I'm thinking that you're the most beautiful man in the whole world. I'm come thinking on. you're Man's right. Beautiful. Well, you are. Yeah. I can see why, honey. You got to taste good, too, but your lips are drugged. Oh. Hey, I'm tripping. No, I'm really tripping. Ouch, ouch, there's a book actor Mr. in my Clinton pocket. Mr. Clinton of the... And then we got the rule in the pot. And sorry about my hand, lady. Lady, oh. Oh, 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 come, come on, Mrs. Jerry. Now, oh, cut that out, Jerry, and get off. Sorry about the... The, the pubs and the keys are out. It's me on the McGrawn. Best rule in the hay I ever had. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, lady. Oh, you are... Oh. Even this... Grass is, is, it's drug. Had enough to eat? Yeah, I grazed enough, thank you. Uh, I guess we should talk now. But not of you. Hmm. Now do that tiger noise again. Growl. Uh, love is good. Yeah, love sure is good. Is. Mmm, Grom hey, think love you. good. Wanna guess what it is? Uh, uh, Nintendo? Bunny? All I do is guess Fuel injection? You. Okay, let's see. Uh, a new car. Next one. You got two more guesses. Pass. Uh, sweater, pants, pass. shirt, socks, Come underwear. Come on, that's more than mm -hmm, two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, what is it? It's a lock. Oh. What? Hmm? You heard me. A lock. A lock, you know, little fish. You eat them on bagels. Now, what am I going to do with that? It's what I'm going to do with it. Hmm? Uh, I see. What's that? 
I want you to wear, okay? In your septum. Okay. <laughs> Rita's cooking, Louie's serving. Find out who's cleaning up. Tune into Short Attention Span Theater tonight at 6 to hear the winner of the Louie's in the Kitchen with Rita contest here at Comedy Central. With the return of juvenescent academic pursuit comes certain fundamental guidelines requiring strict adherence. Bust this. Kickin' jeans. Bank jeans. Way cool haircut. Major attitude. The back to school sale at J.C. Penney. Achieve a higher level of cool. We all know how much fun playing the guitar can be, but until now, learning meant months of tedious lessons costing hundreds of dollars and getting limited results. Well, no more. Now you can learn to play any guitar in only 30 days. In fact, you'll actually be playing from the very first day, even if you've never held a guitar before. How's it possible? With the revolutionary Guitar Today video program. Rock, country, folk, pop, or jazz, you'll be playing guitar from the very first day. When I first heard about the Guitar Today video, I was skeptical. But I tried it, and now I'm playing electric guitar in my own band. I ordered the tape for my son, and he played his first song in only one day. Then my daughter used the program, and she did just as well. Now my husband is showing off with how well he plays. Use your credit card and order your two-hour videotape and instructional workbook for only $29.95 plus $3.95 shipping. Call now, 1-800-726-6000. That's 1-800-726-6000. Or send your check to the address shown. Sorry, no CODs. I'm Alan Havey, and I have a show on Comedy Central called Night After Night. It's on 11 o'clock Eastern, Monday through Friday, and on the show I have actors and artists and writers and uh, people like Penthouse Pet of the Month for June, uh, Julie Strain. Right, Julie? That's right. Did you have a good time on the show? Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> so uh, watch Night After Night. And, what? Why do I have lipstick over my face? Why do you think? He was a bad boy. Get to know Alan Havey, weeknights at 11 p.m. here at Comedy Central. Hey, Lou. So she gave me this lock like an engagement ring. Mm. See? So you had a good time yesterday, huh? <laughs> yeah. Sorry that you and Lois couldn't make it. Hey, why don't you shut off that motorcycle so we can talk? You really should have some time to yourself. See what I mean when the kids start coming? Yeah, it's funny. We talked about that yesterday. Yeah. You sound like me when I was about to take the big step. Yeah? What do you mean? Asking yourself a hundred points. Can questions. you open the garage door? Well, it's a big move. Remember when we used life. to be smart? When you finally do it, it won't seem so big. Yeah, maybe. Look, you ever see me look so happy? Yeah, huh? but you didn't know I was well, watching I, you. I've never seen you looking so fat. Fat? Look. Yeah, I gotta start watching that. <laughs> well, family life's too easy. It makes a man soft. You know what you gotta do, Luke? Get out more. Exercise. Exercise? Yeah. Well, I may be soft, but I'm still... Stupid. Fast! Whoa! Hello. Hello. Time for the main event. What can we do for you? Hey, it's I got Dick a bike. Need some repairing. Uh, if you're not in uh, a big hurry. Hey, boss, that's airplane glue. Got a couple ahead of you. Well, I got an exhibition in Frisco in two and weeks. Then you won't be needing you those you clothes. Have ready by then? Let's have a look. Outside in the truck. Why are you coming on to me? Hmm. So, this must be what they call a garage. Cookie. It's mm. a nice job you've got here. It's well, neat. Uh, thanks. The way J.C. rides, he can keep you a steady business. Oh? What do you mean? Exhibition riding, fairs, rodeos. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, you, you know. You can make a bike do anything. Yeah. In fact, I'm a bike. I didn't get your name. Rommel. Oh, you magnificent son of a bitch. I read your book. Nope. You got a cigarette? Got a dopey hat? Nope. <laughs> I think you sure that's funny. You don't have much to say, do you? Nope. Nope. You trying to say something? Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Hey, Just... 
It looks like Bud Freeman. I hope he doesn't try to hug everybody. What's with the uh, training wheels? <laughs> it's called the side hat. We built a whole movie around it. We had to pad out that thing. first scene with the uh, meadow, though. What's it for? We use it for racing. You have a pilot and a passenger. It's up to the passenger to balance out the bike on corners. Teamwork. I see. <laughs> the guy rides hanging onto this bar here. <laughs> oh! Where do you ride him? Well, uh, we're having some trials this weekend. Hey, this whole movie is a trial, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Side hack, huh? I like it. We can have it ready for you by the middle of next week. Middle of the week, huh? You told me two weeks, Nero. What are you, an idiot or something? Hey. Oh, you want to give me some time ah. to think about that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, uh, no. We'll see you next weekend. This side hack thing, I will see. I will see it! Me too. Me three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, weird little guy, wasn't he? Maybe you'll let me call him Little Buddy. You invite him out? Yep. Sure, I swing. Both ways? I thought you left that all behind when you bought the shot. Oh, uh, sometimes you talk like an old man. Left all what behind? Trouble. Right here in River City. By that? Capital T runs the C stands for chick. So what? So that's no situation to get yourself into. He's bad news. And that's his old lady. They're all nuts. They the little guy in the mirror there. Pulling fairs and rodeos, another half blowing their minds. Oh, oh, now, wow. wait a minute. Wait a minute. The little lady comes in here and starts throwing her butt around. Now, what am I supposed to do? Run in a corner and hide or something? Get out of the way of the butt. You looking at. All right, forget I said anything. All right, I will. They come in here and they want to give us some business, right? Fine, but she's going to watch some business, too. Okay, but it's not too bad, is it? So-so. That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Third base. So-so. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. You may be married, Luke, but your eyes aren't. Guess who? Uh, are you known for your work Hi. in the theater? All right. Candy hey, Grimes. Oh, you don't like nice today. Honey, do you have some money? The kids need new shoes. Oh, man, if it's not Shall one thing, it's another around here. Please Next, you'll have. be throwing money at food and clothing. Oh, ten bucks. Yeah. Yeah, pick me up a dime bag of those <laughs> shoes. <Goodbye>. Colombian shoes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Kiss by lunch every day. Well, it was a tongue sandwich. You got it made, Luke. It's okay, your turn's coming. Huh? Yeah, you want to go eat? Hey, that's my lunch. Interesting. Very interesting. But stupid. Oh. <laughs> How much racing have you done? A little. That's what I like about you. Just give them enough to make them wonder. That's right. Hey, JC, uh, where's your next move after first call? Who knows? East, maybe. Thanks for littering. Gentlemen, Gentlemen. 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 Filled with thrills and spills, such as you've never seen before. And you the won't see now. now. And we're about right, to come start. on, hurry up. The film is today, slow enough. On hack number 14, pilot Stan Shara. Shara, that is. And passenger Dennis Woolley. And on number five, Steve Camp and his passenger, Jerry Mahoney. Weber. How does she make herself Riding look hack like number 15, Amazing. pilot Woody Splitter and passenger Vince Rump. Who is, I might add. No newcomer to this thrilling new sport. No Watch newcomer to this new sport? Next Isn't on that the line, number 22. That's Duck Bingham. Known as Der Bingo. Hey, Jim number Hutton. 60, a couple of very good hackers. Wayne Kestemont. And the shin bones of Muffin. Number 31. We have Jim Muffin and Whitey Hope. Runner Power. Number one. Dolly Fox. Nice part day. Whitey Ford. Nice good night. Sandy Colfax. And on hack number seven. Crash Road. And his passenger, Jim McNeil. Great. Lefty Lemon. Engine Orange. Jolly Jolly Orange. Loud Mouth Lunch. Two Two Cherries. Go, go, go. I'm Sissy. Flag it up. The flag is out. And they have no flies. Hold me. Please hold me, Dean. Oh, come on, Jerry. Hey, 
that announcer is way too excited for his own good. For ours. Pace yourself. Oh, ham. And the perma crowd is in position. A good spread over the jumps, which the boys dig. It makes the jump safe. happening again. Oh no, now something, some kind of stuff that's different, kind of different, but it's the same kind of similar stuff happening in a way. But look at that. Some more stuff's happening involving motorcycles and a whole lot of dust. This one is so new, we don't even have the terminology yet. Oh. Around the clubhouse turn, there's apartment house with plenty of room. Girdle holds on in the stretch, and pulling up the rear is Beetle Bomb. We got a really neat treat for you guys. We worked on some heavy charts about side hacking. Cambot, I want you to run that race footage in there on the uh, chroma key. Okay, you guys, vamp. Yeah, I'm trapped up in outer space. Sometimes my life feels like a big pile of nothing. So what? Word, I live with it, dig it. But anyway, we and my bloods would like to wail out a song about our friends, the side hackers. It goes like this. is the thing to do when it doesn't hurt to have a low IQ. Take your life, your life, and a little love. Big grand prize is 25 bucks. Side hack will quench your danger thirst. The stupid ones always seem to come in first. Yeah. Side hacking is one big bash, the favorite sport of cheap white trash. When you're on your side hack, make sure you don't slip. You'll end up with five metal pins in your hip. Lean way back till you scrape your butt. Make it look like a quarter pound of ground chuck. Yeah, oh, side hacking crow. That attracts a lot of racing fools. A lot of people get her cause there are no rules. All you need is a toxic landfill. A cycle and a sidecar and a urge to kill. Better get with the sport cause it won't last long. The founders of the sport are laid at forest lawn. <laughs> This weekend, a super special sports monster at a super special time. Super special moments. Hey! 
Where the hell's my Mr. Bubble? Super special guest. Why am I doing this? Super special question. What kind of a student athlete would Jesus be? What kind of sports show do you expect on a comedy network? The kids that never forget. You had $10 on you? Don't miss the first annual Sports Monster All-Star Hall of Fame All-American Super Special. Yeah. You owe me $20. 9.30 Friday here at Comedy Central. I took a chance this time and tried to, tried to save a couple of dollars. The service wasn't there. So I went to AT&T and stayed with AT&T. I don't want gimmicks. I want a long distance phone company I can count on. If you miss dealing with AT&T, come back now for free. It's easy. Just call 1-800-258-9600. And the reason we switched initially was because of the, you know, we're going to see this, this dramatic drop in our phone bill, and, and we didn't. I mean, what's the point? You know, they, they can't offer me substantially cheaper rates from what I've seen. At AT&T, when we promise you savings, you get them. In fact, nobody gives you more ways to save. Come back now for free. And it was just like a hassle figuring out both bills, both sets, and so we just said, hey, you know, we just scrapped it, and, and just now we get one phone bill, and that's it. It's a lot easier to pay. AT&T makes everything easy. Come service. back now. 1-800-258-9600 for the service and value you deserve. Time Magazine called him the master funny man of the age. Now, for the first time ever, the legendary king of comedy and music is captured on video in the best of Victor Borga. Pardon me, madam, are you laying eggs? Recorded live, this collector's edition of Priceless Comedy is a must for every Victor Borga fan. It's the incomparable Victor Borga in his best love, most heartwarming comedy performance of all time. <laughs> the best of Victor Borga on VHS is only $19.95 plus $3.95 postage and handling. To order your personal copy, you must act now. Watch British and American comics get along as if that whole tea party thing never happened on London Underground, Friday at 8 here at Comedy Central. You guys were great. The way you took them on that corner, I guess that'll bend them out of shape for a while. See, I like this fight like this. You join me on the circuit. I got some idea how to put this into my act. But you, you gotta build the drama. See, that's what you gotta do. You gotta make it look harder. All right, I'll wear a porcupine costume. Hey, you wanna try it? You're on. Well, it's about this time the old Duke boys decided to show old Boss Hog what side hacking was all about. So you hurl him on the ground and do si -do, and make him sing like a soprano side hat. Yeah. Oh, there. <laughs> then you fall off the bike flat on your ass and you throw your butt full of prairie grass. You stick your can up in the air and show us your can like you don't care. Side hack, everybody. Swing your side hat. Let's go, Batman. You grab JC and you swing him around, you put him on the side hack, throw him down. Side hack, come on now. Let's hear it for Mr. Humility there. Oh! Looks like a great place to side hack, doesn't it? This is where cows side hack. I'll be here all week. Get the waitress. Enjoy the buffet. More the same. Mm. And this is my country estate. I also keep a trailer home in the city. <laughs> hey. Hey, there goes the <laughs> we really are having some fun, aren't we? It's time for some international coffee. What a trip! Orange cappuccino? 
Hey, did you hire an after-dinner speaker? That groovy place. How'd you get it? Bad looking, I bought it. We're gonna live here after we're married. <laughs> A little lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful place. It well, let's really not patronize is. them or anything. Isn't it a beautiful place, honey? Yeah, it is. She's so articulate. You're mm -hmm. joining the establishment. And the establishment is plastic, man. Yep. Come on, Rommel. Why don't you and your old lady ride with us, huh? We can make a lot of money yeah. on the circuit. Hey, let me get you another beer, huh? Take those uh, his power. Yeah, it looks like they're drinking so motor oil. Yeah, oh, you should never drink ten W thirty in no the summer. No one's alone when they're with J C. I need to ask you something. What are you bugging me for? Whoa. Say. He's eating me no harm. Switch the decal. Get your hands off me. Oh, real. Shut up. Touching me like that. Well, uh, he really sucked the air out of that room, didn't he? Well, bean dip anyone? <laughs> Let's kiss. Come By hurting on, others, our love grows stronger. <laughs> that was fun. He just doesn't want to, JC. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. What do you mean? Doesn't want to. Let's see. Does not want to. Which word didn't you understand? Cookie face. I beg you, man. It's your choice. Yeah, it is my choice, and I don't want to. Sorry. Bye now. <laughs> Apple today. Come on. Let's go. Hey, what happened to any seven-layer salad? Will you get out of here? Well, thanks for coming. Now stay out. Jeez, what does Martha Stewart say about times like this? Wait, that's for the drug test. No. Oh, darn. Uh, really didn't go too good, did it? Is there any intelligence in that head of yours? Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. You asked me that once before. I know. Whoopi. Goldberg. <laughs> One minute accomplishment in a day is dealing with idiots. Now, if you can answer me this one. Uh-huh. Riddle me this. Simple question. No. School will be out for the day. Mm, is this going to be on the final? Attention. If you came with me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why shouldn't Rommel come with me? Because uh, uh, he's not your girlfriend? Hey, baby. You were my meal ticket out of that town. What's with this meal Chicago? ticket bit? I saved you from a life of nothing. I bet you'd like to believe that. I, I don't know what I saw in you in the first place. It would have been a lot more exciting to take the bus. Yeah, but then you'd have to sit next to <laughs> the stinky guy. Oh, man, you should have seen yourself being drug around. Rommel had you looking like an overstuffed Polish sausage. <laughs> but I am a... Uh... Thuringer. <laughs> uh, you're nothing but a little boy, J.C. You disappoint me all the way around. Mm. <laughs> I never disappointed you in bed. Uh. <laughs> really? Mm. Don't walk away when I'm talking to you, Pays. Get your hands off me. Oh, you damn what? dirty ape. Scream for a lover boy. Go ahead, scream. I want to hear you scream. Scream! Hey. Please, J.C. No, we have to watch this. Until you scream. Please. Now scream! What a creep. Help. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. oh, oh, that's man. it, that's no. it! Piss boo! No. Oh, boy, your mind pays. You hear me, baby? Mine. Every mother of an inch of you. What? Anybody touched breathe. you, I'd kill a pays. That's how much I love you, baby. Oh, I guess he really does love her. Kind of kisses like a dog. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. We're a team, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm punching your We're Judy. <laughs> I'll prove it to you, baby. <laughs> Try some of my forbidden fruit. Come on. An apple a day. It's three o'clock. 
It's the good quarter, thing he's using that mask to protect his scalp. I can't get this spark with a light, Hal. No he really go when he gets to the gas tank. Okay. <laughs> hey, Rommel, you like those chili peppers that Lois gets? Yeah, yeah, but they burn my gut. Yeah, I like this movie. Well, I think that's what Rita and Lois are making for dinner tonight. <laughs> How come every time we go to the ranch, Luke, we gotta have chili peppers? Why not hamburgers? You know I love hamburgers. Less talk, more mood. Hey, what's the director doing here? Mm -hmm. It's ready. Good. Now open the garage door. It's showtime. How much? 32 bucks. Well, this is a cheap movie. Hey, Luke, did you pick up those parts for the Harley yet? I'll get them now. You want a sandwich? Yeah, one with everything on it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Comedy Central could do it. The history of comedy. On Sunday, August 18th, we'll show you the funniest people ever. We'll take you from the first film comedy, Tilly's Punctured Romance, right up to Mystery Science Theater 3000, the last word in cutting-edge laughs. Miss this, and you miss the best comedy of the 20th century. After all, we are Comedy Central. We know. Watch the history of comedy, a 24-hour marathon, all day, Sunday, August 18th, only at Comedy Central. Welcome to America's favorite gathering place, where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. Introducing the Cheers Collection on video cassette, new and only available from Columbia House Video. Now you can be a Cheers regular anytime you want. You'll see Sam and Diane melt the ice. You know, I always wanted to pop you one. Maybe this is my lucky day, huh? You disgust me. I hate you. Are you as turned on as I am? More. <laughs> Watch Carla serve up more than drinks. We beat him up, strip him, take his money, and put him on a bus. <laughs> and see Norman Cliff trade shots. I have impossibly high standards for a woman. Yes, yeah, she has to like you. <laughs> Call now and belly up for all the laughs at Cheers. Starting with your first three-episode video cassette for only $4.95, including the classic opening episode. Yours to own for 10 days, risk-free. See a master bartender at work. I am on a top-secret mission for my... <laughs> you are an idiot. No, no, that's just my cover. I thought you said that you weren't going to call me stupid now that we're being intimate. No, I said that I wouldn't call you stupid while we're being intimate. <laughs> No place serves up more laughs than cheers. It's a romantic bar. As many people fall in love here as get sick. What? What do you look at this for a good time called Diane Chambers? Thank God they got the number wrong. Hey, I got it right off your application. I can no longer hold my tongue. Oh. Want me to do it? To order, call this toll-free number. You'll relive the magic that made Tears America's top-rated Emmy Award-winning comedy series. Complete uncut without commercials. To get your first Tears video, have your credit card ready and call this toll-free number. Credit card orders only, please. There's always something funny brewing at Cheers. Hey, kid. Know what day it is? It's the first day of school. The tuition changed and you've got a new roommate. does not need to be this difficult. Comedy Central wants to send George Carlin to your school for that tough first day. He'll say the things you can't. Whatever happened to free public education? He'll deal with the people you won't. Well, you're an interesting guy, but I think you belong in the philosophy department. And he's got 5,000 in cash to ease the pain. To enter, send a postcard to George on your campus. Radio City Station, P.O. Box 1033. New York, New York, 10101-1033. Because, yeah, the first day of school is the worst. But with George Carlin along, it'll be a lot less sucky. So, what did you learn on your first day of school? Absolutely nothing, George. Good. They're only telling you what they want you to know anyway. That refrigerator's been everywhere. And so has she. Mm. Hi. Ah, uh, why, yes, I am. I'm on a ladder. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Better than you. Where's your buddy? Kind of personal, oh, isn't it? Oh, some parts. Oh? What's up? I just thought I'd stop by and see if you've changed your mind. Running errands for the old man. You might call it that. I call it codependency. It's just that he doesn't mm -hmm. like being turned down. Yeah, well, uh, 
Life's full of little rejections. Oh, no, like my rejection from Simon and yeah. Schuster. I know what you mean. I read your book, You Magnificent. <clears throat> Can you use some help over there? Oh, uh, yeah, you could button uh, it. Yeah, like, hand me that box there. Now, quack like a duck. Oh. Here, let me get it. I had fun yesterday. You were great. Thanks. You know, JC's not bad. A little funny, but uh, not bad. He's no Gallagher Trauma. or anything. You magnificent yeah. son of a, a, you know. Do you like me? Well, sure, I like everybody. I even like Gallagher for crying. And why do you uh, back off when I try to get close to you? There's a ladder in the way. About back off. You know, I can't get to you. There's a ladder in the right? way. Why not? Now, look, baby, you got a man, right? Maybe I'd like a change. Maybe she's got a saggy diaper that leaks. Yeah, so uh, mm. what do you want me to do about it? I thought maybe you knew someone. Look, baby, you go on home and grow up. You know, that's the nice thing about a little girl. If they're lucky, they can grow up to be women. You bastard. I'm more of a woman than you'll ever know, you son of a bitch. Uh, that's a uh, magnificent son of a bitch. What's she up to? I don't know. I yeah, just don't get girls. Hey, I asked for a bagel and a schmear. Oh, What's this? Don't give me no philosophy, huh? Okay. Hey, this is bike. I want you to take a look at. Hey, I gotta take the fridge to the airport. Uh, you need it's anything? It's right outside here. Hey, Nero, you got problems? Yeah, Rome's I was burning. Why? Out of town when misfortune struck me, and I think I've blown the internal combustion off my. Huh? What are you saying? That say? is a problem. Huh? Yes, sir. Indeed, it is. Uh, got to thinking about that word we discussed. If the offer's still open. Yeah, I uh, think we can uh, work it out for you. Sure. <laughs> Turns out they really wanted Nancy Sinatra for this film. Maybe my boots were made for walking right off the set. But then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. <laughs> I feel like I'm time tripping. That Buffy girl got to stand next to Jim Hutton look alike. I remember it all. I remember the way he used to snap his jacket off on me. <laughs> and I remember that too. <laughs> you go on home and grow up. That's the nice thing about a little girl. Remember the way Rommel insulted me? <laughs> the way That's JC made me cough up blood? Anybody they can't take you. those precious memories I'd away from me. <laughs> Take that, Nancy Sinatra. <laughs> hey, uh, Luke. What? All done in there? I was wondering if uh, you and Lois and the kids were going to stay at the ranch tonight after a dinner. Well, we were thinking about it. Why? Well, nothing. I was just wondering. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> what were you wondering? Oh, just wondering. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. Mm. You and Rita want to stay out by yourselves tonight. Bingo. <laughs> yep. Well, that's, uh, that's a good idea. Tenor in my mind. <laughs> you uh, sure you don't mind? No problem. Thanks. Nope. Don't mind at all. You're just going to sit out there and relax tonight, huh? This is kind of looking like 30-something. <laughs> yeah, except for the fire. dirty pictures in the background. Fire. Yep. Uh -huh. Then... Put my arm around it. <laughs> yep. uh, yeah. 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 Well, like I said, you and Rita should have some time to yourself. Yeah, time. Yeah. Hey, you know you're right, Lou. Yeah. Uh -huh. Need some more time. Yeah, time. time. Then what? Oh, you know. I'm gonna give her a kiss. Peace. <laughs> 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 so soft. Are you sure you want to have it? That's a lovely dress she's wearing. <laughs> How do you plan to have a hundred kids? Huh? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice vaccination scar. 
Stewart and Kim Carnes in Laryngitis Theater. Nah, Ricky, the ceiling needs painting. Ah. You still love me? This guy's really got a hairy back. Yikes. Oh, he's kissing himself now. Why? <clears throat> I, I just imagined you at 90. And I don't think I could do this anymore. <laughs> Take a big drink out of life. <laughs> Sounds like the start of a side hack film. Sounds like they're sharing the same larynx. Throw cool water on that man. She's laying on a lampshade. Yeah. Hello, Shia. Hello. Hello. What happened? Lama. I know where he is. Algeria. I heard him tell his buddy he was going to the cabin where we had the party. Gooch, stay with her. You guys come with me. Isn't it Gooch? You know, Ram, I really love this place. Yeah, nice place. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. After we get married, I'm going to fix yeah. it up. Mm -hmm. What I really need is a woman's touch. Yeah, like the way I like I care, yeah. I don't want to stain the walls. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe give it a fresh, clean look. Oh, yeah, we're stained. Stain. Get blue draperies to match my new blue mm -hmm. covers. Yeah, you know what I can do with that? It'll cost a uh, fortune. Care about throw rugs. Throw rugs all over the place. Yeah, I'd throw up on those throw rugs, yeah. yeah. A couple of new lamps. Huh? Yeah, like the ones you were laying on for, yeah. Let's just take the wallet. <laughs> Fresh flowers every day. Lilies. Yeah, like, uh, some of the women's sandwiches. I think I'm being silly. Pattens here. Pattens here, honey. Wake up, you desert fox, you. line is it anyway? 30 minutes of extemporized wit, impromptu wisdom, and when things go wrong, totally unfeigned embarrassment. Basically, anything can happen. I'd like to complain about these contact lenses. But I think that I'm going to break wind. Whose line is it anyway? A semi-dignified, sort of Monty Python-ish improv comedy game show. I got a message from my buttocks this morning. <laughs> Laugh or I'll kill myself. Watch it weeknights at 7.30, right here at Comedy Central. Cold War is long gone. Berlin Wall's history. Kind of sad, really. Why is that? Well, I always wanted to be a top secret agent. Code name Mozart. You know, make it through Checkpoint Charlie by the skin of my teeth. Mm hmm. Well, that's all over now. I know. But at least I can read about the good old days in my Encyclopedia Britannica. Check out this section on intelligence and counterintelligence. That's not all you can read about in the new Encyclopedia Britannica. Somehow I knew sooner or later you'd turn this into a commercial. Well, uh, actually. It's okay. I know. How else can someone find out how to get a set? Forget secret agent. Look at these great animals. Maybe I'll be a veterinarian. Open wide. You gonna pop on that 800 number? I thought we might, yes. Right on cue. To find out how you can own the new Encyclopedia Britannica, just call this number and we'll send you this free booklet. Don't forget the gift. And just for previewing Britannica in your home, we'll give you this three-volume desk reference set. I already have it. I was talking to the people at home. Oh, right. Sorry. Encyclopedia Britannica. Great legs. Thank you. How do you get them? 
I used to do aerobics till I dropped, then I found Thigh Master. Every single time you squeeze Thigh Master, you strengthen and tone right where you need it. So it's easy to squeeze, squeeze your way to shapely hips and thighs. I thought I'd never fit into these jeans again. Thank you, Thigh Master. I recommend it and use it. The secret to shapely thighs is exercising these muscles with just the right resistance. This balanced resistance coil is designed to give you results quickly and comfortably. Want to tone your upper chest and arms? Thigh Master will give you excellent results. Thigh Master, we may not have been born with great legs, but now we can look like we were. To order your Thigh Master, call 1 800 726 6000. Have your credit card ready or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4.50 for shipping and handling to this address. And if you're not fully satisfied, return it in 30 days for your money back. Plus, if you call right now, we'll also send you Suzanne's Slender for Life plan absolutely free. Thigh Master is not available in stores, so act right now. Rita's cooking, Louie's serving. Find out who's cleaning up. Tune in to Short Attention Span Theater tonight at 6 to hear the winner of the Louie's in the Kitchen with Rita contest here at Comedy Central. Joe, what happened? Where'd the side hacking go? Yeah, where'd it go? We liked it. Well, you guys got to understand, it's really hard to get a new sport going. It's hard to get the recognition that other sports enjoy. Can you name a few? Uh, kickboxing from the Philippines, uh, tape measure racing. Uh, and, uh, computations and Australian rules football. Right, and what do all these sports have in common that side hacking does not? A uh, rudimentary interest factor. A sense of fair play. A small measure of self-esteem. Yeah. Right, these are all really good answers. But Thank the thing I was looking for was terminology. It's impossible to have play-by-play -play or color commentary without it. So... Let's put our heads together and come up with some terminology that showcases some of the really exciting moves in our sport, side hacking. Cambot, roll that footage. It looks like the Wesley brothers out of John Harding starting things briskly with the Fuller Brush Man and a Rumpelstiltskins followed through with a teenage co-ed prison. Out of Wausau representing Wisconsin, Mitch and Pitch performing the now famous Yank Me Crank Me. That bright young team, the Allentown Poodles with their rendition of the Swirly. Oh no, could that have been the Gunk Out Crow? Thanks, Joel. I think that was more of a spinning love funnel from those fresh-faced kids of Kankakee Community College. Oh, my goodness. It's a line vodka slow burn and a hop skip and a gold lame with a fin and an itchy gorilla. An itchy gorilla. Uh-oh. Here comes the big blue flamer, followed by Tea Time Richard Scary, the full tilt bozo crazy, and just plain stupid. It's an exciting day indeed here at Japanese War Atrocity Park and Pavilion on the Park, but what's this? Is, is that the antiquated old Puffa Baba O'Reilly attempting the teenage wasteland on the Haiti Heidi Ho side of the track? From the darker side of the street come the Cap Snapper, Maynard and Eleanor, Casey's rolling pizza, and just imagine. Meet you on the dark side of the moon. It's the ghostly trio followed by No Tell Motel, Asper Cream, and Death by Chocolate. Oh, oh, hold on to your epidermis. It's Deputy Dog and the hard drinking soldiers of fortune attempting the off copy to leaky cheese. Shake me to wake me, Crow. Looks like Batman and the costume critters of death are going crinkle cut and somebody's got to pay. But, uh oh, funny how. How funny strange with the bad man until screaming, hey world, check me out. Hand me a Hoover. It's Raspberry Kami, the fruitful snootful and hickory dickory die attempting a butterscotch push with a frunky, frunky, frunky. Ho, ho, ho. Is that Go-Go the gorilla with bloopers, blunders, and practical jokes with starchy cock of the walk and their fin toozler? There's Electro Woman and Diner Girl in the George Barris custom show rod, bravely attempting the big guy with a Tommy Toon on the side. I've got to correct you on that, Crow. I think he's attempting the stinky guy with a Peter Allen. Uh-oh, that means he'll be disqualified and slap with a day in the life of even Denisovich. That could be a problem for our Quentin Crisp, who's expected to deliver a fighting out of its brother or a god, your helmet smells good. Uh-oh, here comes Nutsy, the side-hacking clown, performing his famous tension envelope routine. Don't get too close, because remember, kids, he who smelt it, dealt it. Let's give him a round of applause as we all pardon his blooper. Well, it's been a big day with plenty of sheer gut blowouts, juicy Lucy's, and a woozle whose name was Peanut. This is Crow and Joel and Tom Servo in the pit. We'll be at the 19th quadrant attempting a grass grinder and ground grass is a mulch and mulch is good for your lawn. Hmm? That ought to hold. Oh, so we oh, are oh, 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 oh. Hey. The excitement, the action. Oh, thank you. It's William the Oh. You got a little. Uh, you got a little on your cheek there. Uh, that jelly donut kind of got away from him. <laughs> I got a feeling. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh no. 
At least my car is okay. Oh no, they stole this radio. Oh, they stole his kneecap. Is it safe? It's not safe. It's that way safe. I called my agent and I tried to get out of this. They stole his dimes. Oh, and they stole the camera dolly. It isn't safe. It isn't safe. They stole the shoulder of the road. Must find a dry cleaners. Got to. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, stop. Stop, I need a new girlfriend. <laughs> oh, thanks anyway. There's probably another car over the hill. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, I don't want to be a grown-up side hacker anymore. Hello. <laughs> Rommel, what the hell happened to you? It was Patton. He read my book. Rommel. Oh, hate the bleeding rum, but Rommel, come back! You huh? magnificent. Oh, let him go. Oh. I can talk to you, Mr. Tree. Oh. Oh, oh Magic Lock, take me to the freeway. Hmm. When oh. and wishes oh, were young, I used to like coming to the highway. <laughs> I need another Band-Aid. For my broken heart. <laughs> we used to come here in club seals together. <laughs> funny, funny, even, uh, even these oil fields seem to remind me of it. Can't put my finger on it. But I look like Robert Conroy, don't you? For those of you playing along at home, Rita is dead. Right. Oh, 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 my tiny kid. It's no fun without a girl. <laughs> lousy motel for two weeks. I gotta get out. I can't breathe, Cooch. Hey, look, I'm a mirror. I, I can't talk. Longer, the cops are bound to find me. Look for a place I can hide. Mm -hmm. The mountains. Maybe. Make a reservation at Grossinger's. Just get me out! Whoa. No one will find me here. I'll climb in a corner pocket. What are you planning to do? Eight ball, corner pocket. No, I'm in do? there. Kill him. I will kill him! We talked to the police, and they're out looking for J.C. now. And some call him Pig. It's their job, Rommel. Let them handle it. It may be their job, but what have they done so far? Nothing. Oh, there's the roads. I was... Yeah. You've got to step out of it. You've been playing nine ball all day. Play air hockey. Why don't you come back to work so you can get your mind off of it? You ever read the Bible, Luke? No, but I saw the movie. passage about an eye for an eye. Well, I'm not much for the classics. I've only read your book, you magnificent bastard. You ever read that one? Hmm. They're going to bust you wide open. You took what do you think about that? Book? Like a pinata. It contradicts itself. One minute it tells you to turn the other cheek. 
and it tells you to take an eye. Well, that's when you run out of cheeks. I guess it depends on which end you read. Well, if you start from the back, it's even more confusing. Problem. You didn't have your feet on the floor. There's nothing you could do about it. Yeah. Like I said, it depends on which end you read. I guess pool is the answer. I don't worry about my girlfriend's murder. Eight ball, corner pocket. Hey, you know, I'm playing my way through my grief. Every shot, I get better and better. Now, since this film isn't going anywhere, why don't we all play pool? Hmm? Huh? Say. I found a couple of boys. They're willing to ride with us. But there's one little problem. One of them's six years old and the other's 11. They're short on funds. They don't care what they do. As long as they get paid for I need some money. What for? Finish these monkey bars. I'm buying myself a little help. You thought about Kelly girls? Still gonna go after JC, huh? PDQ, yeah, ASAP. But if you think I'm going to finance your war, get nuts. Just me work. Hey, Luke, come on now. I want to talk to you. Come on over here. The director wants to do another setup. Come on. Now, I'm not asking you See to what get I mean? involved. I'll give you a note to my part of the shop so that if anything happens to me, you can still get your money back. I don't give a damn about your part of the shop. If anything happened to you, your part of the shop wouldn't mean a thing now. Look, you can go fussing and hollering. How come they get louder as they get closer to the camera? I'll be looking someplace else. But I'm afraid you're going to have to look someplace else. All right, I will then. Finally, a talk show that's as bad as you want to be. You know that life sucks after 18? After Drive, Saturday at 4.30 here at Comedy Central. to hear some of the most beautiful soft rock hits ever recorded. You know I love you, but I just can't take Heartland this. Music presents you know Always, you, 40 unforgettable hits. I don't know much, but I know I love you. Oh, Classic love songs. How I depend on you. store. Ever I saw your face. Please stay tuned to order. My eyes you. To order, call toll-free 1-800-922-3131 to save all COD charges and pay only $19.98 for records or cassettes or $24.98 for compact discs plus $4 shipping. Use your credit card or send check or money order to Always FDR Station, P.O. Box 5020, Department B, New York, New York. Remember, save COD charges by sending check or money order or use your credit card. Sunday nights, let Comedy Central seduce you with seven hours of late night classics. Say that slow and strap me in. Classics, just the way you like them all night long. Get a beast. Just when you think you're not getting enough, Comedy Central gives you what you want. Someone to spend Sunday nights with. How lovely that was. Thank you. Why sleep with strangers when you can go to bed with those you know and love? Late night classics, Sundays at Comedy Central. Taxi? Taxi? Oh, huh. I drove. Forgot. I'll tell you that song. I go to the bank, I go to the dry cleaners, get some lunch, kill JC's gang, salvage the film here. Why doesn't he just sell his car? 
some of Vengeance music. What can I do for you? I ran a little short this month. Give you a good deal on some tools. Don't need them. They're so not for eating. With 50 bucks. I'll let you have them for 35. I just don't need them. He said you're not hey. supposed to eat them. 25. And I'll throw in my spare tire. Why didn't you say tires? We love tires. Now, I'll give you $5 if you have a hard-boiled egg in your purse. Okay. You got a 10? Yeah, I got a 10. You got a pretty nice tan I... yourself, brother of mine. Hmm. Kind of a trunk a while. For what you're paying, I wouldn't sweat it. A little warm. All I've got is two tans. Give me those. Thanks. Not. Now, Jake, that's all the man's got. And I gave him my word. For $200, I wouldn't even move. I couldn't. Nah, Jake. Man me. I don't even know what he Different. said. Hey, Why, smart thank mouth. you. Did you ever see Big Jake break a man's back? No, but once I saw a bear drinking a soda. Uh oh. I don't believe it. You hit me. Yep. yep. Sure mm -hmm. did. Did you see what he did? Yeah, yeah I hit you. Yeah. I saw you the whole thing. What happened? Yep. I hit you. You hit Big Jake. Yeah, yeah I hit, I hit him. You. If you're Big Jake, you get you. Break your... Oh, oh, you crushed my sternum. You made me do the hard thing. It's hard to learn and stuff. Oh. When do we start? Is this your way of haggling? <laughs> Two, three days at the most. <coughs> Clark, I said I'd give you $200. What does she... Oh. You did some ass. Always work these brushes into a fine point. You could kill a man with them. Helps bring out detail in my work. He's going to hire a painter? Will that bring Rita back? Paint a picture of her. It'll last longer. <laughs> That's the closest you're ever going to get to her again. Rita? Oh, yeah, dead girlfriend. Right, right. She's gone. Oh, I... Oh, I... I paid the devil to replace her. time. Another place. Dead, bloated, worm food, you know. You don't have to worry about our hangups here anymore. Okay, okay. Like Note to myself. Don't talk to an artist. All they got time to know and understand is themselves. Uh, so is that a yes? Well, she got. You don't want to hear, do you? People find their own bag. Get in it. Here's my bag under here. Oh. Nice. nice. Whoa. Yep. Hey, how did the laughing audition go? You're saying he's coming after me by himself? Yeah. And the word is out. He's buying himself some help. He doesn't think the law is doing its job. Who? Who's he buying? Nero. Two, three others. A puppet, a pauper, a pawn, and a king. Nero. Each time he finds himself bad in his face. Oh, you know the rest. That Rommel. He just don't learn too easy, does he? I gave him the light, man. And he just kept doing time. I tried time. to show him the way. I was like a brother to him. Not a good brother. A gooch. Gooch, tell me. It's gooch. Did I love Rommel? Hmm? Did I love him? My own flesh I don't love better! Ooh. He gets this way if he doesn't kill every day. I'm not good enough for him. How many times? Oh, you, got a yeah, you got a little up there in there. He says no. Oh, mama. Could be he's trying to bring me out in the open. We'll see what kind of game he's playing. Oh, Othello? Hungry, hungry hippo? Shoot some ladders? Candyland, maybe. Uh, Mealborn? Uno? Monopoly? Risk? Trivial Pursuit? No. Oh, you're so tense. Wow. We get rid of you. Then there's no witnesses. JC, we've had enough trouble. Please, let's just get out of here. You dare I was me. looking for trouble. He tries to put the make on you, so I paid him back. How did I know she was going to die? Because uh, you Ain't killed that her. right, honey? Tell me! Ain't it right? Can you repeat the question, please, Peter? Damn you all to hell! 
Uh, yeah, everything's better. Uh, John, Hurt is gone. I want you to get hold of the other boys. Tell them to meet me here to bring guns, whatever they can get their hands on. We're loose fitting clothes. Dress to move. Tonight. Have a two minute song prepared. Cooch. Cooch, come here. That's Cooch, sir. Sit down. Take your shoes off. Sit a spell. I trust you, my friend. I trust you. We've had a lot of runs together. Yeah, remember that dinner in Tijuana? Been busted Boy, a lot I made of a times. run for the border that night, my little compadre. You always <laughs> stick by me. Now I need you, Cooch. I want him. You need me, yeah. but you want him? Yeah, I'll get him. No. You gotta get in. And you bring Rommel to me. Yeah, I will. I, I will, will do it. But it's gotta look right. I will. Let I him will. know where I'm hiding. I will. I will do it. Make him think you and I. I, I am okay. I will. But baby, it will. it's got to look right. You know I'd do anything for you, JC. I will. Would you kill a guy? Anything. I know. I know. I'll do it. Chaplin, Fields, Lloyd, Keaton, Benchley, Langdon, Laurel and Hardy. They all made movies, they're all dead, and they're all here at Comedy Central. Classic movies by classic comics, hosted by Robert Klein. Dead Comic Society, Sunday morning at 10 Eastern, here at Comedy Central. Pour on the cheddar and make it taste better. Potato? Dull. With cheddar? Delicious. Anybody want chips? No. no. Well, how about some cheddar cheese nachos? Yeah. Right. With your vegetables? Oh, no. With cheese? Oh, great. The great taste of cheddar makes everything taste better. Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. So call this free number to find out how easy it is to train at home for a better career. At ICS, more than 10 million men and women have prepared for new careers without setting foot inside a classroom. And now at home, in your spare time, you can get your diploma or your degree. Choose from any one of these courses. High school, TV, VCR repair, child daycare, computer programming, electrician, veterinary assistant, medical dental office, bookkeeping, legal assistant, assistant, interior decorating, gun repair, art, learning the personal computer, or get your degree. You can major in business management or accounting. Make this important call right now. Call now for the free information Sally Struthers spoke about. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better job or career to make more money. Call 1-800-637-2000. There is no obligation. No salesman will visit you. Call 1-800-637-2000. Call right now. This weekend, a super special sports monster at a super special time. Super special moment. Hey, where the hell's my Mr. Bubble? Super special guest. Why am I doing this? Super special questions. What kind of a student athlete would Jesus be? What kind of sports show do you expect on a comedy network? Kids that never forget. You had $10 on you? Don't miss the first annual Sports Monster All-Star Hall of Fame All-American Super Special. Yeah. You owe me $20. 9.30 Friday, here at Comedy Central. And so they drove to the power station. There was nothing left of the world after the robot holocaust. I know a wiener man, he owns a hot dog stand. He is the every single wiener and a key change valve. What would you say he was? <laughs> Everybody looking at where I'm going after him. Dark See, it is it's really mm. something. Wow. Well, and the crickets? Dark night. Yeah. yeah. Some crickets. If it was yeah. dark, you could. They don't even Hey, I own. said left at the Dairy Queen. Guess it was too dark. They don't even have their lights on. It's so dark out, they don't need their lights, I guess. They're breaking the law. Yeah. See, once I kill a guy, then this will become a side hack track. Hmm. What do you think? That's nice. Mm. Hey, Coach, what's the deal? We better wait here till morning. Yeah, it's too dark now. Can't see a thing. That's why I'm squinting. Why not tonight? I'm too tired. You know, J.C. likes his booze. Loves to have his You fun. hit him in the morning, he won't know what happens. Oh, well, that means he'll be really drunk right now, right? It's sick. What can I say? How about, I'm sorry? Well, I still think we should go under the cloak of darkness, but we'll do it your way. It's so dark out tonight, I mean. Yeah, I'm glad it's dark. I can't tell what his hat looks like Jiffy Pop. I don't trust anyone. Hey, his hat looks like Jiffy Pop, too. But I'll be on. Buttered and unbuttered. <laughs> Please, Luke, don't do it. Honey, uh, 
Boss, go back on the house. Well, call the police from here. Honey, I owe Rama more than a call to the police. What? What? What about me and the kids? Oh, the kids can come, too. Bring their jammies. Put them on the top of the car. It's dangerous. Don't go. Billy, don't be a hero. Hey, look, he's sporting a Woody. Yeah, classic style. Like well, really, huh? bye, honey. Don't wait up. I'll be dead. <laughs> right if you get work. Hey, turn your lights on. It's dark out, remember? It's dark. Idiot. This old boy got busted, see? And he gets tossed in the sink, see? Now, the first night he's there, there, his cellmate walks over to the bars and he yells I'm out, suspicious. Number nine! Oh, not this. No, no, yeah, we know. Uh, it's a chance some people can't tell a joke, yeah. Huh? Number 12! And the whole place breaks up again, but... So this new boy turns to his cellmate and he no. says, Hey, man, what is with this number, Bill? So the old con tells me. He says, that's the way we tell jokes around here. Uh -oh. now, everybody here knows every joke, so we just give them a number. Yeah, yeah, and we know. When we, we feel know. like telling the joke, we just yell out the numbers. Yeah, I heard Kip the daughter Later used to do a number time, one that was a. This new point. boy decides he's going to tell himself a joke. Go on. So he walks up to the bar and he yells out, Number eight! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, that's oh. not the punchline? There's not a peep oh. out of the whole cell block. There's more. I mean, uh, don't nobody lie. <laughs> well, he turns to the old con and he says, Let's "Just kill this guy hey, for pranks." How come nobody lied? <laughs> Maybe because it wasn't funny. <laughs> oh, how I love it. So him. the old con. I know what you mean. Just says, keep listening. And he says, <laughs> uh, "Try to make the most of it." <laughs> and he says, "He's, he's not, not half bad." <laughs> nice video. <laughs> Keep him talking. I'll hit him over the head of the rock. Boy, some people can tell a joke in some case. And <laughs> you can. <laughs> hey, say, did you ever hear the one about the fag and the hey, dog? Look. Huh? Hey, dog. Yeah. Man, you put me on, ain't you? No, no, this guy comes to the bar, the bar with his dog, see? Is that the one where the dog pins the bar to the floor and he says, Bowsy, Wowsy? No, he yeah, says, who that. shot my paw? Yeah, I did. That was number five. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Hey, hey, ever hear about the, the, the stupid hillbilly that got uh, no killed stick, in the boy. desert by a bunch of bad guys? The one with the big Man, stick, right? Yeah. yeah. If Nero here rides with me, I'm going to hold this pole out like this. I so prefer observational like here. Yeah. I say the best way is hand to hand. Hit him hard. And hand him out. If you was built like me, you wouldn't say that. I feel like a idea about that machine gun. Remember no. what Ronald said, no gun. Yeah, it wasn't a good policy for the German army. What's the matter, Coot? Afraid to die? Forget the guns. Guns. Little. Who needs them? Me. That's who. Suppose that J.C. sitting down there with a little Jimmy army. Dean. A little plastic army no with army. army? Those plastic army men? There's no way for him to move. No way. Yes, yes way. way. Does and the law gets him. Maybe you got a better way, huh? Well, yes, yeah. I do. I have a, happen to have a lot of ideas. I've catered many of these events before, and uh, you'd be surprised at the provocative and useful ideas you hey, can come Rommel up with. Hey, Rommel, boy! Yes, rock stupid hillbilly boy! What if it's J.C. sitting down there with a little arm? Go, oh, Sean. Sure. Oh. Promise no more jokes, and I'll hey, tell you what you want to know. How many boys does he have? It's Gooch. The same. Gooch. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. What about the Middle no, East crisis? We can handle That's got to bother you a little bit. Yeah. I figure JC's uh, going to be sitting down there waiting for us. I think he knows when we're coming, too. All we got to do is sneak in and grab him. Huh. Once I got JC, there's no reason for his boys to fight us. Unless they want him back. Jake and me will go down first. You. What are you going to do when you get your hands on him? Uh -huh. Still thinking about it. What if you don't? Yeah, nothing. Now, suppose he grabs you first. Then you lead. Well, then you boys are going to earn your money. Crap out. You and Cooch take this idea. Crapper? Hey, Ron. I had this idea about using this pole as a battering ram. Good I one. Nero to ride. We were thinking of using it okay. as a suppository on you. You come in from the back side. Cause as much confusion as you can. Someone else like is new. Guys Through that right. stupid joke of yours, that ought to hold him. Cooch, you play it by ear. Stay in between Then us. betray us. Just, just, just wait a minute. Ron, oh boy. What the hell are we going to do if they got guns? Die, I guess. Yeah, Get sure. your butt out of there. That's a good idea. Yeah, hey, that's oh, a good we idea. Heck, we know Pipe Center. That's why I didn't think of that. <laughs>
Hey, you guys, how about this flipping for a little odd man? What do you say? I don't want to forget you. How about a little knife? Here, shoot it up. Poker, I don't know. Shadow of Death. And so the Apostle Peter awoke with the sun, and verily he heard a voice. A cock will cry three times before you betray Rommel. Man, I just remembered it's like 12 noon, and they still make a sleep around here. This is a really dumb camp. Right foot, left foot, biggest damn thing in the case. Mm. Christmas, mm. Greeks, fire, fiddling, Rome. We're rocks and we're smarter than this cast. Oh, let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh, we better go. Really tired of this girl. Come on, you guys. Boy, that Rommel guy is really cool. I wish we could be more like him. Yeah, well, we can never be him. All we can do is try to emulate him and tell others the good news about Rommel. I read his book, you know, he is a magnificent bastard. Hmm. And in it, they had the patterns on how to make these super cool hats. Check them oh, out, you guys. Really give me, give They're me really peace. cool. Oh. Yeah. Ah. And there's a lot of neat things yet. I love it's good. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of neat things you can do as Rommel, like obviously go side hacking, you know. Or you can take your refrigerator around the world. Right, that's a good idea. Or you can entertain guests at your summer home. Yeah, and uh, then there's running through the woods and uh, rolling down hills with your best girl, Rita. <laughs> Come on, Crow, into every life a little rain must fall. Let's try to concentrate on mo some of the more positive things here about Rommel. Oh, don't forget the fun he had playing with his mechanic pal, and playing pool, and uh, th th forget about his, what happened to his girl, Rita. <laughs> oh, uh, you got to take it easy. Come on, there's still a lot of really neat stuff that Rommel did. Like, remember that time he got really crazy? Yeah. And he went into town to raise money to get those killer, mm -hmm. crazed killers to go and avenge the... Death of his girlfriend, uh -oh. Rita. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Joe, quick, think of something to cheer him up. Think of a joke. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, hey, Joe. Number eight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been too tense, man. Yeah, that's a good one. That's funny, all right. Ah, uh, something coming in on the view screen. <laughs> no, no, that's not a joke, no, no, really, there's a ship coming in the rain. Oh, no, you just can't tell him the way Crow can. It's no, really he's something. right, Joel. There's a ship coming in to rain. <laughs> he did it again. That just yeah. kills me. He's so <laughs> funny. Wait a minute. There is a ship out there, and it's got a side hack on it. Hey, who are you? Oh, come on, Rommel. You know who I am. I'm JC from the Planet 5 the hard way. Now, look, baby, our senses have indicated that you've been watching the side hack movie, hey, which is cool, man. You know, we were even going to bring you cats back down to Earth, but then you had to go and be like Rommel. Oh, no, no, we don't want to be like we Rommel. We don't want to be like Rommel. Well, why are you wearing those stupid hats, baby? I don't know. What do you have against Rommel anyway? I tried to show him the way. I tried to show him the light. I was like a brother to him. Now, Cooch, Cooch, tell me, did I love Rommel? Did I, huh? That's Gooch! Right, right, Gooch. Look, man, I loved him. My own flesh I don't love better. But I wasn't good enough for him. How many times I asked him to ride with me? He just said no. I want you to do something for me, Cooch. I want you to do something. I want you to get Rommel for me. Get him. Get him, man, get him. I will. All right, good. I will get him. Cool, baby. I will get him. Just get him. I will well, get, get him. Go get Rommel. Go get Rommel. I will. Get him. I will get him. Get him. wonder what I they wanted. I wonder yeah. what the heck is going on. Man, I hate to say it, but for being marooned on a satellite, it's sure getting busy around here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, that Rommel guy has a lot in his mind. We're just not the types to be carrying around that kind of psychological pain and emotional baggage. Yeah. Around. yeah. You're right. Let's go watch the rest of the movie. Yeah. There's more movie? Oh, <laughs> What do you get when stand-ups sit down? It wasn't Millie Vanilli, it was two other guys named Mocklety Chocolatey. <laughs> 30 minutes of comedy masquerading as a talk show. It's comics only, weeknights at 8.30, here at Comedy Central. Look, I lead a busy life. When I'm stuffed up, Sudafed 12-Hour gets me through my day. And I'm not drowsy. Introducing new Sudafed 12-Hour in tablets. No relief lasts longer. 
How can you stop a throbbing toothache? Massage your hand with ice. How do you cure poison ivy? Try oatmeal. How do I know these cures really work? Because my staff and I interviewed over 500 top U.S. doctors for this incredible book, The Doctor's Book of Home Remedies from the editors of Prevention Magazine Health Books. I'm Bill Gottlieb, Editor-in-Chief, and I can assure you there has never been a more complete encyclopedia of home healing techniques. Over 670 pages, 2,300 remedies, from controlling diabetes to ending diaper rash, it's all right in here. Call now for the Doctor's Book of Home Remedies. Try it absolutely free for 21 days. Then if you choose to keep it, pay in three easy installments of only $8.98. Plus you'll get this Meals That Heal cookbook free. Remember, you can try the Doctor's Book of Home Remedies free for 21 days. So call now. Call 1-800-228-2101. Rita's cooking, Louie's serving. Find out who's cleaning up. Tune in to Short Attention Span Theater tonight at 6 to hear the winner of the Louie's in the Kitchen with Rita contest here at Comedy Central. <laughs> Coach! I knew you'd got number five. Oh, what is he number eight, maybe. That was really funny. <laughs> we got him. You know that old rock quarry? That's where I was going to hide? The one with the tin shack? You tell Rommel that's where I'm hiding. You bring him there in the morning. The rest of us will be waiting. What for? I had a hard time getting out of there. Cooch. Coochie, Cooch. coochie, cooch. You're my back. Uh, he's insane. I Not everything he says head. has to make sense. You know? so. hold up yours. And we'll be right back after this message. <laughs> <laughs> we got him, honey. Mm. I got him. Great. Great. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. um, <laughs> uh, he's just like a dog. Uh, honey, your, your mere touch makes me physically ill. Don't talk with your mouth full. I feel what my you... lunch is coming up. I've got to get away from you. All of a sudden, you got to get away, huh? Where do you think you're going to go? I met a nice guy on, called Ike me. Turner. You don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know. You know. You were dying for me to take you out of that one-horse town. He's from Chicago. You know, sometimes I think you're crazy. What would you do without me? I guess she'd heal. I don't know, but at least I wouldn't have to be doing anything I didn't feel. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, that hurt. That was romantic. Don't. Maybe you better explain more about those feelings. And uh, be specific. Use specific examples. In fact, you seem to like the whole scene. Are you trying to tell me we were playing some kind of game in bed? Yeah, Parcheesi, and I lost a lot of my game pieces. Now I want out. I don't know who I despise more, you or myself. Or the devil or, or Chuck Lorre. Is that a bad habit? Jeez. Jeez. Suppose you like it when Rob tore you apart, huh? Huh? Or maybe it was the other way around! You don't have a healthy Get relationship out. Get at all. Or was it the other way around? Um, hmm. Could you let go of my windpipe? I'm supposed to leave. Group Team 37. I can't believe it, Wally Carbo. That's an illegal hold up, an automatic three day suspension. You know, I'm really glad it's just a movie. They're just actors. The money's in the. Cops is filmed on location. Do things you can't feel. What'd you say that? JC is wanted by the FBI. What'd you should you be considered that? armed and stupid. <laughs> What'd you say that? Tell me about the rabbits, George. I don't like it when you say things. Like I think they're communicating a lot better now. You didn't mean it, did you? Nah. I know you're sorry, baby. I'm not mad. I'm just drawn that way. Come on, baby. 
Talk to me. Talk now that you're me, dead, baby. I can tell you about a thousand wonderful Talk hours. To me. Say hello to the folks, Bobby. Hello, folks. I will kill you. Oh, oh I guess I do. his nails that's really disgusting slow, slow. you're no better than jc if you go through with this luke i'm gonna tell you something it's easy for you to come out here preaching to me about what i should or shouldn't do and what you shouldn't tony wear it wasn't lois uh tony tenille wants her hat back but maybe you're right i don't know but give yourself some time and think it out. McLeod! There's only one thing I can think about. Huh? My next line? JC. Hey, Rob! You magnificent son of a. Coach is back! And there's gonna be trouble. Hey, la, li, la. Is it All still right. dark? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm Cooch. We gotta go hide. And I'm a little rabbit. And I'm gonna cover myself up and leave my little butt hanging out. Yeah. Well, let's go kill him. Good morning, dummy. Wake up and die. Huh? Check. Nobody oh, called. Hi. Oh, hi. You trust him? What? What? What did I do? What? what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> what do you want? Guys. What's the bet? <laughs> What's the deal? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I go to the brush. <laughs> you guys make a big deal out of it. Yeah, we'll <laughs> push. For two hours. <laughs> oh, what? We've been sitting here for over an hour waiting for you. Oh. You moonlighting on us, boy? Read the what? magazine. Oh. Jeez, you know. I say he's a spy. I think he's a sailor. Is that true, boy? Huh? You setting us up? Come on, man. It's a bad joke. <laughs> yeah, you know, number 12. <laughs> hey, what are you guys trying to do? Hmm. Wear this you hat. Can't. Here, I'll find out. This spot to jog his memory. Ah, you got something to say? Ah, pull me down, you son of a bitch! Ah, uh, no, that's the wrong answer, but thanks for playing. Easy, Cooch. Ah. Here, crap out! Catch! You guys are crazy! Oh. True, boy, true. Don't you ah. ask! You magnificent oh, no, no, no. son of a... Oh, ah. Wait, you guys! Uh, you gonna tell me where he is? It's not for the tell. I went to the brush. No, no. Ah. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Where is he? I don't know where he is. There's nothing to tell, I swear. I got no help. I got no help. I got no I'm a lot smarter now, thanks. Rock quarries. Rock quarry. He told me to bring you there in the morning. You're a little on your nose. And what's he gonna do after we get there? Uh, have a late breakfast. All he told me was to bring you there. That's all. Did he uh, say anything about what time? I like to be prompt. How about time up? And don't be afraid to use a granny knot. I'm so glad you come back, old oh, buddy. Never met a spy before. Just uh, tie him up, make it snappy. Look, I, I'd like you to do me a favor. We really are good friends, aren't Why? we? Uh, stand a little closer. Out here. I mean, I finally got through to you. Yep, you finally got through. Yeah. Well, it's about time. Let's get the hell out of here. Now I know where he's at. I'm not letting him get away. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but don't you start nothing. I'll be back in an hour or so. Okay, I won't start nothing. I promise. We'll meet you at the Rock Quarry, okay? Okay. Yeah. Now, Comedy Central offers you the same great catchphrases used by America's top professional comedians. Okay, you look marvelous. Then we just want to pop. You are. Special. Party on, girl. Party on, man. Where's love? Where's love? Find your 
signature slogan at the original catchphrase clearinghouse. Saturday night live. Saturday at 9, only at Comedy Central. The Comster, the Central Meister, El Comedio. You give us 24 hours, we'll give you 77 years of the funniest people ever. Watch the history of comedy, a 24-hour marathon, all day, Sunday, August 18th, only at Comedy Central. AT&T is constantly searching for new ways to help our customers save money on long distance. And what we've recently discovered is remarkably simple. Those customers who spend over $11 a month on long distance could start saving right away by signing up for the AT&T Reach Out America plan. If you spend over $11 a month, you could save on long distance too. All it takes is one call to 1-800-341-5550. You'll learn how you could save 24 hours a day. 25% on calls made after 5 p.m. And enjoy discounts on daytime calls. You say we're pretty good customers. Who are you talking to? If you spend over $11 a month on long distance, AT&T can help you save 24 hours a day. 25% on calls in the evening. Honey, that sounded pretty good. Why don't we sign up? We just did. Great. Who do we call? Call 1-800-341-5550 and sign up for the Reach Out America plan. Is this you washing your car, missing all the fun, or spending $6 at the car wash when two days later it looks like this? Now there's a way to keep your car looking great all the time. It's the Amazing Magic Duster. Originally designed for car buffs to keep their show cars looking new, its specially treated fibers lift the dust off without a scratch. And it's guaranteed for even the most delicate paint. With this expensive investment to protect, I'd rather use my magic duster than wash any day. It works so well, you'll want one for every car in your family. And they make great gifts, too. It's the best present my kids could have gotten me. It's better than washing. And a lot cheaper, too. Stop washing when you could be dusting. Call this number now to order your magic duster. Thousands have been sold for $29.95. But take advantage of this special TV offer and pay only $19.95. Call now and get this $5 carrying case absolutely free. That's a $35 value. So call this number now. Rita's cooking, Louie's serving. Find out who's cleaning up. Tune in to Short Attention Span Theater tonight at 6 to hear the winner of the Louie's in the Kitchen with Rita contest here at Comedy Central. Man, then things got really weird. Acid Canyon. <clears throat> This is how you do a monkey, and uh, you crouch a little lower to do an orangutan. Well, just as I suspect. This is where they shot the Love Shack video. Oh. That's as big as a whale. <laughs> Get him with a 10-foot pole. That'll work really well. Yeah. Mmm. Moose track. Two, three-day-old. You think you've got problems? I'm not even supposed to be in this film. Gary Collins. Today at 4 on Our Magazine. Hey, it's Cheech Marr. Huh. Poison still fresh. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> it's the cap snapper. It really, really works. Oh, don't grab his gun. No guns. Uh-uh. No bongos. Uh, is it hot out here? Is it just me? No sweaters. Not allowed. I'll just walk under the cover of this air here. Hmm. I set my own trap. Then I go after him. Out a little fire, Scarecrow. Shot with a tomato gun. Ooh. 
No drumming. Not allowed. Hey, they're playing Indigata De Vida. Mm -hmm. How annoying. Soil and green is made from people. Oh, yeah, I'm quick on the draw. Nice, huh? Yikes. Hey, old boy, I never did think this thing would work. Come on, now, let's go. Let's move it. Yeah. Get me a go. Hey, they're riding number 15. That reminds me of a joke. Number 16. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish that was the director there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay, I just changed my policy. Everybody use guns. <laughs> Number 16. <laughs> yeah, the bullets don't kill him, I, the music will. Yeah. Dead people. Funny, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Got him again. He might have his tucked too early. No. Too bad about having to die like that. Yeah. Our contractual obligation in this movie is over. No guns. What the heck was I thinking? Uh, yeah. I'll just hide behind these blades of grass here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's going to help. Okay, okay, I've got to remember that I'm crazy. Note to myself, load guns before killing spree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right, pretend you're hurt. Oh. 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 Honey lips. What are we gonna do now, lover? Oh, what's that supposed to mean? You coming on to me? The end of the line! Hmm. I never met a general before! Why don't you come on over? We can get acquainted! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not talking! And that hurts me! We never talk anymore! You're so distant! Where's the love? I've nothing to say! I'm sorry. Wait, what am I apologizing for? Oh. This isn't going to take a licking to keep on ticking. Uh -huh. Only you understand me. All right! All right! You said that. I'm coming out! I'm coming out and I don't have any jewelry or accessories. I am Kirok. Just you and me! And a dog named Boo! Join me, and all this can be yours. So, it's been a while. Hmm. Good to see you again and all. Hey, what's been going on ever since uh, you and I said, Oh! <laughs> oh, why didn't I get out of his way? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oof. Group Team 37, I should have known. There he goes. Oh, there's a foreign object in that ring. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, 12,000 miles away, Akron's best speed toward the hills of Southern California. Oh, oh Andy, fast. Ow, oh, that's my sore arm. Ow, 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 that's no fair. Ow, my ow. Whoa. Oh, it hurts. Hi, Kiba. Hi, Kiba. Now, oh, that'll teach you to fall under a conveniently placed cable. Uh, so you think I need bridge work, huh? Oh, okay. Uh. Now, I love you. Are you going to sit down and work this thing out or what? I pooped. Oh. 
with a karate chop to the head, the neck, the body. Hunger, the hunger, come here. A lot of grunting going on. Oh, I always did love you. And he missed. They're in a rut. I'm, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Yeah, come, come over to this other rut. That's better, isn't it? Oh, you took my thumb, Charlie. You took my thumb, Charlie. Aye, right, Charlie. Meanwhile, on the plains of Nebraska, the car speeds forward. Oh, Ooh. that had the sting. Ooh. Oh, that one really hurt. Oh, you ow. crushed it. You crushed ow. it. It hurts and stuff. Throw him to the ground, Centurion. You're lucky my chick's not here, you know that? Well, okay, you bum. But if you do it again, you get more of the same. You didn't figure this into the formula. Oh. Okay, Paul. Oh, oh bro. What? Oh, I hope this doesn't happen when you die. That was really the absurd. all supposed to be a dream here, right? Of that um, so I guess there's not going to be any more side hacking, huh? I don't think so. Side hacking on a coffin, maybe. Uh, a story side coffin. coffin. Side coffin. It's possible. Cough. Oh, that's, that's Didn't clever. the monster's car used to have a side coffin? Well, uh, a grandpa side drove a coffin. Yeah. yeah. That was the dragster one, and then there was the big town car yeah. one. Yeah. But Are you trying to change the subject? No. No. This film was also released as Million Dollar Legs. I thought so. Uh, Ginger Rogers there, I thought. Most of her scenes were cut. Yeah. There's those Tessier sisters again. Oh, we better get out of here. Yeah. Our job is the done. The Tessier Goyles. <laughs> get it. Film. Yeah. Talk about nihilism. That's the second film in a row that had the hero die in the end. Boy, we're never going to snap out of this existential dilemma. Oh, I was afraid this would happen, so I brought this thing along. But Joel, why was the movie so bad? Yeah, it was cool in the beginning with the side hacking, then it went right down the drain and they had to pad out the rest of the film with all that killing. Oh no, Crow. It wasn't killing that padded out the film. No? Only love pads the film. When sorries were young and dreams were not fun and sorrow was so far away A storybook scene with songs to be sung for today oh, sure. but nothing lasts forever only love at the film of all the dreams you treasure only love love past the film You made with two hearts and warm. Hearts glow, still glow in the wind. You give or you take a day in the sun, but even the sun must descend. Everybody now. La -la. Come on. That's the film. Oh, Gypsy. 
listen to them up there. <laughs> Singing and dancing their dear little hearts out. <laughs> oh, those poor... I'm going to bring them down. <laughs> oh, why don't we invite the entire King family in here? <laughs> oh, and the cow shows up with people. Oh, never mind. Don't you have some letters to read, Pink Boy? Yeah, of course. I got them right here. Um, let's see. Cam, I'll put this one up on the screen. Oh, it's just print, but they should see it anyway. For Joel, Tom, Servo, and Crow. Hey. Uh, I'm 13 years old, and my family loves your show a lot. Every time we watch it, we can't stop laughing. Aww. Uh, the best I like is the nice tag or nice dive and the bot sitcom. Well, you might need a calculator, he says. You remember that when you said <laughs> oh, yeah. the twins? No. And when Tom Servo Crow, sometimes Gypsy play when they have to tell something good and play bad about the movie for Graham chips. Oh, he thought they're. He thinks they're no, called Graham not chips. Oh, no, no, Graham no, chips. no, no, yeah, no. But yet. anyway, uh, anyway, that's from with laughs from Chris Tackett. Maybe we could do a good thing and a bad thing about that letter. You got a good oh, thing to say? Oh, the good thing is, well, oh, I'm, I'm just so full of love right now. I can't say a bad thing. What about Chris, you? you? Got I a bad thing to say about that letter? Ah, uh, the printing's nice. Okay, that's a bad thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I've seen Joel right. Anyway, let's put that, Campbell, let's put the address up on the screen and Tom Servo do the mighty voiceover, please. Okay. Send your letters to the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Information Club. That's Post Office Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota. Zip is 55343, and we love you. Okay, and the next one, Cam, I'll put this one up on Still Store. Oh, This nice. one says, Dear Go, which is Joe. Serbo and Crow. Hey. I really like SF and I don't mean San Francisco. Huh? <laughs> A little joke. And there. I like Tom Serbo best. It's Tom Servo, by the way. Thank you very much. Because he's cute. Aww. I like Crow because he always makes me laugh. Aww. I would really like for another robot to be on the show, but not a boy or girl. I would like her to look like P.S. I drew a picture on the back, but I want one girl for Crow. Here yeah, she is. Me and too. One one for you, Joe. Uh, but it's kind of just Gypsy, a redesign of Gypsy. We've already got a girl here, you silly. We anyway, love Gypsy. I guess that ought to do it. What do you think, sirs? I think I liked it. Well, until next time, Joel Hackerson. Go ahead, Frank, push the button. I will. We'll push it. I will push the button. Push the button, Frank. I will push the button. Just push the button. I will. Push. I will. Make one of these. I will push the button. And do this. I will push the button. Joel Robinson of Mystery Science Theater 3000. These are my friends uh, Crow. Hi, I'm a chicken. And my friend Tom. Fuck, 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 fuck. And fuck. we're trapped.